Hi friends, welcome back to our tutorials. This is RxJS full tutorial series for absolute beginners. Today we are going to learn a new operator by the, which, is, which is called element at. If you, if you want to relate this, think of it that like an array, right? So you have something called index. Um, if you have a given set of values, you would be able to get a particular element from a particular at a position, right? Let's say you have an array of five elements. You need to get an element at number two, right? So this is something similar. So when you say element at, you get a value from a certain position from that particular array. We'll learn about it. We'll see some use cases. Let's get started. This is part 16, operator 11 of the RxJS tutorial. Please do uh, check out complete playlist because there is a continuation and you would be able to master because I will take you from simple to complex operators in much easy and simpler way. Also, please do subscribe to my channel and also ask me your doubts in the comment section. Following is the tutorial list I've covered so far. Please take, take time to learn if you are really serious about learning RxJS. You need to know all these operators so that you can work day to day. All right, so today is operator 11, element at. So what does element at operator do, right? So element at operator will give us a single value from the source observable based on the index given, right? So like I said, if you want an element at number two position, you can get that, that's the index of it. Uh, remember, it's an array index, which means it will always start with zero. Okay, a lot of people get confused uh, because other operators are not taking it from the array index zero. So this particular el operator, element at, is like an array index which starts with zero. Okay, that being said, let's do some hands-on on it. All right, back to basics. One number one, people and who are new here, we have an array and we are converting it to an observable. You may get this observable value from HTTP call also. Just remember that you get some fixed values. So using from operator, we are making a observable from this array. Now, this is the array we have. Now let's say I want the value of chargers, right? So this, so I can use element at and pass the index. So the index will be zero. Remember it starts with zero, zero, one, two, and three. Okay. So when I say element at index three, I will, I should be getting this value, which is chargers. Okay. So let's do that. So this is just a simple subscription and I have the array observable, which I'm using pipe and then we are subscribing, right? So instead of last, we are going to do element at, and we are going to say three, and this will give us the chargers, okay? That's what is the expected output. Let's see. I hope these are pretty simple, but these are really useful in terms of filtering values. Uh, when you start working real time, you will find these that you will use them every day. All right, so you see here, we are getting chargers. You change the index and you get the next value, right? So if let's say you want to get, get the second one, so second value, you can say element at one, and you should be getting the next one, which is, I think sum, okay, right? So that's how uh, element at operator is used. When you know the fixed values and you want an element at certain index, you can use the array index same like how you use array index and pass the ID index number and this operator will return you that particular element all right pretty straightforward simple if you are familiar with arrays all these things should be pretty um, easy and quick to understand like I keep saying I am starting with basic ones I'll take you to complex operators pretty soon so join me uh, the next uh, operator that I'm going to cover is an extremely important one you don't want to miss that because when you're writing RxJS code, half of the time you will probably be using filter operator. So very, very useful. Please do join me in the next episode. We will learn different use cases. We'll learn different variations of using it. That's all for today. Thank you so much for joining. Please do consider buying me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash tutorials. Also, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you again. See you in the next episode.